Hey Brilliant Bees, it's Mrs. Nessler here. I just want to make a quick little video to show you how to get through our e-learning by being able to access our Google Classroom, our Google Meets, and our Google Slideshows that we'll be using throughout these couple of weeks. All right, the very first thing you need to do is get into our Google Wheel. So we're going to click on our Google Wheel and it opens up just like this. All of my bees know how to do this. Now up at the top, I have a lot of extra things saved onto my computer, but our bees know that if they click the icon that says bees, it's the white person with the yellow frame around them, it's like an old fashioned green chalkboard, they're going to click that and it will bring them to their Google Classroom that they need, okay? They will find PE with Mr. Finer, music with Mrs. Fox, art with Ms. Blomgren, and then they'll find me is here as well in my Brilliant Bees classroom. Now for my friends who receive speech with Miss Abby or for some of our tier three services with uh, Mrs. Hull or Mrs. Kaiser, you will find another Google Classroom for those teachers as well. All right, but what they're going to do is click on the Brilliant Bees icon up here. And if we click this Google Meet, it will open up our live stream that we'll be doing every day from 8.30 to 10.30. This is one of those time frames that is not flexible because we all have to stay within certain guidelines here in the district. So our Google Meet time will be from 8.30 to 10.30 each day. So they're going to go ahead and click on that. And we'll open up into another tab. Now just because they see themselves doesn't mean they've actually started. The join now enables them to start. Now before they join, they need to mute themselves. Okay, you need to teach your child to hit this microphone, number one, and then click join number two. The reason we mute ourselves is if we have all 18 of us all on at the same time, the noise is going to drive me crazy. <laughs> Plus will be a major distraction for the rest of us that are trying to learn. So they're going to click their microphone, turn off their, turn off the volume, Okay, then they are going to join now. All right, so here we are in our Google Classroom. Now, as the other kids join, they're each going to have a little square. Now, when there's 18 of us on here, those squares are going to be rather tiny. So you need to teach your child that number one, they mute, number two, they join, number three, they need to find me, Mrs. Nestler, and then they are going to click a little pin up at the top. It looks like a push pin, okay? That makes me to be a big screen. And then that will help get rid of the distractions of our neighbors as they're joining us. And it will also help get, um, make sure that I'm big enough that when I'm posting things, they're able to see everything, okay? So that's how we do our, our Google Meet live stream, okay? You'll see some of the names of, of our classmates along the edge over here, and that's okay. But as long as we're muted and you have the teacher pinned up at the top, that's going to ensure that we have our best success when we do our live stream. Now, as I am teaching all of you and we're doing our live stream and I'm asking you questions, please, please, please interact. Shout out the answers, tap the answers, snap the answers, whatever it needs to be, give the answer. But stay muted because you might be giving the answer to somebody who's not ready yet. They're still thinking through the process. So stay muted unless I call on you. Then you can unmute yourself, you and I can have our interaction, and then you can mute back. If you have a question and I'm not seeing you raise your hand or I'm not seeing you hold up your green check mark, then you can unmute yourself and say, Mrs. Nestler, wait for me to respond, and then we can have our interaction together. All right, and then when the Google Meet is all done, you'll just X out up at the top and go throughout your day. All right, now we are back here at our Google Classroom. Now the Google Classroom not only gives us the opportunity to log in for our Google Meet, but it is also how we find each of our assignments that we're going to be working through, okay? So you, you're gonna see things on my screen that are a little bit different than if you see things from your own screen because I'm the teacher and I'm able to access a few different things. But when we are on the stream up here at the top, you'll see anything that I post here. Now, a few of my students receive some variations to their work, and so only those students will see the variations, okay? But you'll be able to see all of the different links that I put through here. Or you can click on Classwork. That will open up all of the different things that I have 
posted to you. Now again, some of my friends receive some variations, so you might not see everything that I put on here. You can also find some of our old projects from Ms. Blomgren that she has posted, as well as a few playlists from Mrs. Fox. Okay, now to get back into our, our learning. So this week we are going to be learning November 10th through the 13th. I can find it in my stream or in my classroom. I click on it and this is where I will find my Google Slides. This is important because this has all of my work throughout the week. All right, we open it up. Each kid will have their own slide, so you don't have to worry about moving things around. It won't mess it up for everybody else. But you can, you know, if you're one of the kids that wants to get started on this in the morning and then stop to do our live stream and then continue, that's fine. If you want to do the live, the, uh, live stream and then do your slideshow later on, totally fine. If you want to do your slideshow a little bit here, a little bit there, some in the evening, it's up to you. The slideshow can take place at any time. The only times that are designated are my 8.30 to 10.30 learning time, and then when your specials teachers have their designated live stream as well, okay? So you would click here to find that live stream, and you can slide the check marks into the box each time you complete one of the slides, all right? It's telling me that this is Tuesday, and we slide down. Tomorrow, we have PE Live with Mr. Feiner at 12.13. You're going to click on his picture, click the tab, it opens up to his classroom, and then he is going to share a Google Meet Connect just like in my classroom, and you'll click on it and go to Mr. Feiner Live. Uh, each day has one of these fun activities. You can click on the silly pictures. Okay? And they can give you a different video. Some of them are brain breaks. Some of them are read alouds. Okay? They're all just kind of fun silliness that we can do in the Google Classroom. Okay? Four season songs, lots of different types of activities. And then we start getting through our morning work. Every day we are going to work on an alphabet song. And it works on the, the letters, what the letters look like, and the sounds that those letters make. So you just click on this. Find the YouTube video underneath and click on it. It will open up into a new link. Okay, then we go into our math. We always have a video counting to 100 by 10s, another slideshow of counting to 100 by 1s. If you don't need to use the videos and you can count them by yourself, yes! You've already made it to the, the amazing math things that we need to get accomplished by the end of the year. Okay? You can still watch the videos, or you can just count them out loud to your special adult. Totally up to you. Then we get to our brain -Z. This is where we're going to be doing our math and our reading every day. Okay? So we would click on the picture, open up brain -Z. It opens up into a new tab. Most of our kids have the link memorized, but if you don't, I have that class code right here. Okay, so then we put in our class code, VDUZ85, and we click go. And today I will play as Addie. And you'll notice that these worlds are locked. That's because I haven't completed my assignments. So I need to click on my assignments first. Move this down, and I'll work through it. Tuesday reading, you're going to do on Tuesday and on Wednesday, and there'll be a slideshow reminding you that. Each day has its own math day, okay? And what it is is you just click play, and it works you through it. Some of the slides are songs, some of them are games, but it is definitely game-based that we work our way through, okay? And then if we go back to our slideshow, you're going to work on Brainsy for math for about 15 minutes and get done what you can for 15 minutes. If you want to go over that, that's up to you. But a minimum of 15 minutes should be spent on our math and our reading during our brain time. That ensures that we're getting all of the information that we need so that we can stay on track. And if I continue working through my slideshow, we have a read to self. This is when we're going to get out our read every day bags and we have a little 10 minute timer. We have worked really hard at building up our stamina in our classroom that we can read for 10 minutes straight. That means I'm not getting up and going to the bathroom. I'm not talking to my friends. I'm not playing with my books. I'm not spacing out, rolling around on the carpet. I have everything settled. And when I'm ready, I click that timer and I read 
my book for 10 minutes. If I get stuck, I can ask my special adult for some help, but I'm not just wandering around. Okay, We've worked really hard to build up the stamina and they should be able to go the full 10 minutes of reading by themselves. Okay, Then we work through our slideshow a little bit more. We have a brain break. You can click on here for a brain break. You can do uh, the jokes, whatever you want to do. The brain breaks you can throw in at any time. You do not have to work through this list and keep it out like a, you know, like you're a machine or anything. Take your time. Do this the way you want to. Special adults, you are in charge of how the slideshow fits within your day. And then we get down to our reading. We always have two little videos where we are working on our sight words for the week. That's what this slide is. Then we get into our brainsy reading. We log in just like we did with math. And then here is epic reading. Epic reading can be optional. Here's why. If you can read a book out loud to your child, and not just one book, but like several books, like they should be listening to a story read to them for about 20 to 30 minutes a day, okay? Now, if you as a special adult can do that on your own, awesome, you don't have to do the epic reading. If for some reason you're not able to fit that into your schedule, I know people are crazy busy. We have so many things going on, working from home, bringing our work home with us, other siblings that we have to, to manage. If you're not able to read to your child, this is where epic reading fits in. They can log in and they can listen to two or more stories. They get to choose the stories, they see the pictures, they see the words, and it's being read to them. Okay, so this is an optional thing, but you need to make sure that your child is being read to for 20 to 30 minutes every single day, whether it's by you or by epic reading. All right, back to our slideshow. Definitely get them some outside time. This is just one of those reminders. It's not meant to actually click the timer, but sometimes we get so much into a tunnel, into a zone of working our way through that we forget to take our breaks. We forget to go outside especially when we are having the kind of fall that we're having right now. Take advantage. And then when we get to the black screen, that means our, our work for the day, done. Turn off, do whatever you need to do. But like I said, the slideshow you parents are in charge of. You can break it up however you want to break it up. And then we get to Wednesday and we start those slideshows again. We start with our live stream and then our afternoon slideshows, okay? So parents, if any of you have any questions for me, please do not hesitate to ask. As long as we can get to our Google Classroom by hitting the little bees icon up at the top, finding Mrs. Nestler, you're going to be able to get to our live stream. You're going to be able to get to the links for the work, and then that will get you to the slideshows to get through. All right, I hope all of you have a wonderful time. I cannot wait to see you in person. All right, bye bees.